Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Today is a big day. Yes, yes. I know you've read the title. I know you know what's happening. All of the hard work, all of the frustrations, all of the celebrations has led to this very moment. I am going to tell you where I'm going to medical school. Yes, it's finally that time. If you're an OG subscriber, I think I started uh, sharing about my med school journey when I was studying for the MCAT and I was working and it was COVID and a lot of things were happening and I didn't know what my future held. And now I'm just so thankful and so happy and feel so grateful to be here in this very moment. <sighs> All right, I won't I won't make this too sappy. I know y'all are y'all are y'all are curious. Y'all are curious and I'm here to spill the tea for you. So, let's get started. So, like I mentioned in previous videos, I um I applied to about 30 schools in total. I actually ended up sending a primary application to more than 30 schools but once I started getting those secondaries back I just decided to cut it off at 30. Uh, I'm not going to go through and name all of the schools if you're curious I don't know send me an email but this video is going to be too long and I don't really want to go mention schools that didn't didn't have the sense to give me an interview you know didn't didn't have that sense to give me an interview they will not hear my name they will not hear it so what we are going to do is jump right into the schools where I got an interview for. I got eight interviews four DO schools, four MD schools, crazy, crazy. Uh, the four DO schools I received an interview for were Western University in Panoma, California, Nova Southeastern University in Florida, Rowan University in New Jersey, and Michigan State University in Michigan. <laughs> And the four MD schools I received an interview for were University of Maryland, Thomas Jefferson University, University of California at Irvine, and Temple University. Yes, those are all pretty great schools. I'm not even gonna lie. I was pretty happy about every single one of them. I, I'm not surprised though, because I really only applied to schools that I could truly see myself going at, like if I had like an interest in going to so I was pretty happy with all of them overall and I feel really grateful that they you know wanted to give it give a chance on me put a chance on me so thank you to these eight schools I'll be forever be grateful for you whether we cross paths again just know that you will always be in my heart but I could only choose one I could only choose one well first let's talk about the schools that actually accepted me because even though I interviewed at all of these schools I did not get it accepted to all of them. The schools that accepted me were Thomas Jefferson University, Nova Southeastern University, University of California at Irvine, and Western University. Western University was a interesting case because they actually deferred me from the start. And deferment basically means like, you're accepted to the school, but I wasn't accepted for this year. So instead of starting school this July, I would start school next July. But then later on, once I got later on in the process, they they actually accepted me for this coming class. So that was pretty cool. I didn't know that deferment was even an option. And, uh, you know, for a second, I was like, hmm. <laughs> but um, yeah, I I ended up just being like, no, I don't, I don't, I'm pretty ready to start school this year. I've already taken some gap years, like, I'm ready to start, like I'm ready to get this train moving. So Western University was actually the first school to come off the list just because when I was making my decision, I was still in deferment mode. <laughs> so no Western University. The next school that I had to cut off the list was Nova Southeastern University. So that's a DO school in Florida. And honestly, I had a really good time. Like I was pleasantly surprised by that interview because everyone was just really nice and really kind. And uh, the students seemed pretty happy to be there. But, um, and honestly, I love Florida. I love the state of Florida. Like, I don't know, I might have, have a vacation home there someday in the future by God's grace. But I didn't, I chose not to go there because they weren't really great in the financial aid aspect, um, at least like not in a way that I would have wanted. Um, they wanted like a $2,000 deposit within 30 days of my acceptance. And I was just like, sheesh, like I'm still waiting. I was still waiting for other schools to get back to me and like, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't like that pressure to give them $2,000. So unfortunately I did have to say no to them, but I really like that school. So 
I'm sorry. <laughs> so it left me with two schools at the end. It was Thomas Jefferson University in Philadelphia and University of California at Irvine in Irvine, California, Orange County, whatever. <laughs> and you know, you think it'd be an easy decision. You'd be like, well, do you wanna be in the East Coast or do you wanna be in the West Coast? But that was actually one of the really hard parts for me was where I wanted to be. You know, East Coast is all I know, it's where my family is, it's where all of my connections that I've spent so long trying to make are. Um, and I really liked Philadelphia, I feel like I, see a lot of people that kind of emulate me. I see myself and a lot of people there. And I really had a good time at my interview at both schools. Both schools, I had a really good time. Like, like I was definitely thoroughly impressed. And even just speaking to students after the interview were over or before the interviews were even started just to get some more information, like, I don't know, people just generally seemed happy at both places. They both offered me an amazing scholarship package. And so it really came down to like, do I wanna be in the East Coast or do I wanna be in the West Coast? Do I wanna go to UC Irvine or do I wanna go to Thomas Jefferson? And <sighs> y'all, it was hard. It was hard, it was hard. But the best way that I went about picking what school I wanted to go to is I really sat down and I made a pro con list for each school. like. What are the pros of going to this school? What are the cons of going to this school? And it came down that both of these schools honestly have the same number of cons, but only one of these schools had a significant more amount of pros. And I felt like that says a lot because when your option has a lot of pros, that means that there's a lot more that you can gain from this experience. So I had to go with where I would gain the most, where I potentially would feel the most fulfilled. And the school that I have chosen to go to for the next four to five years, <laughs> run the clip, run the clip. My name is Olamide Chanuga, and I will be going to medical school at University of California, Irvine. Woo! See you soon, zap zap. I really had to go with the University of California, Irvine. I loved that interview from the jump, from the jump, y'all. Like, I was so excited when they even, like, sent me an email to interview because it was a shot in the dark. Applying to a UC school as an out-of-state resident, like, that is a shot in the dark. So I was just like, you know, let me give it a go. I felt like out of all the UC schools, that one really drew me the most. It was the only one I applied to because, I don't know, you know why, you know why? because they have this mission-based program called LEAD ABC. LEAD ABC is the first medical program in the nation that is used to train future leaders and physicians and advocates to care and advocate for the African, Black, and Caribbean community. It's the first and one, one of its kind. And I like that by being a part of this program, I don't have to be pigeonholed to like one type of specialty. I'm still really open to what specialty I go into, but there is a mission involved. And that's what I like, you know, cause I feel like it's easy to just go to medical school and kind of be lost in things. But the fact that I'm going into it with a purpose really, really sat really well with me. And I loved my experience interviewing at that school. Also, another thing is that they are very innovative and very tech savvy, which I like as well. All of their students get in ultrasound, which y'all like during my gap year, I was doing ultrasounds on lungs of COVID-19 patients. Like I was seeing all the abnormalities of the lungs of COVID-19 patients. You know, obviously I was wearing my full papper and stuff, but it really helped me see the importance of ultrasounds. And I think it's so cool that from the jump, as a M1, I will be learning all of this. Like, oh, am I gonna be learning about the heart this week? Oh, guess what? I'm also putting ultrasound to heart this week. So I think that's really cool. I'm a very visual learner. So I think that's really gonna help me in the kind of person I am. Also, it's California and sis, like it's Cal like, like what? Like this, I've never had an opportunity to just live in California. And that's just a foreign idea to me. So I'm like, let me take it. Like California has beaches, especially Irvine, California. They have Huntington Beach. They have Newport Beach. Newport Beach is like a vision to me because, you know, growing up, like I'm a volleyball player. So I was always watching like the Kerry Walshes and the Misty Maid trainers playing on the on Newport Beach, California. So I feel like hopefully I'll still be able to keep up being able to play volleyball if I wanted to at California. So. I love that as well. Honestly, I just feel like it's like a really 
perfect match for me. The location is amazing. The lead ABC program I was talking about is amazing. And the ultrasounds, the ultrasounds are also amazing as well. Like I had to, I had to pick it. I really had to pick it. And also I'm really fortunate enough that this school did provide me with a full tuition scholarship uh, for all four years. And also if I choose to pursue a master's degree, oh yeah. Oh. I didn't even talk about that. So if I choose to pursue a master's degree, the school also covers that as well. And that was like a major bonus to me. Going into this cycle, I, I definitely wasn't going in being like, I'm gonna get a master's, but I do really appreciate a school that understands that medicine isn't just about the science. You know, there's so many other factors that affect the health of patients and just healthcare in, journal, in general. You know, there are business factors, there are policy factors, there are public health factors. So the fact that the school is willing to invest in me learning learning a little bit more outside of the science of medicine is just like y'all like what like oh man I'm so I'm so excited and who knows I may be gassing it up way more than I need to be right now but I don't know I think I'm just on the high of finally being able to pick a school and being able to rest and <laughs> I'm so excited I really feel like it's a, gonna be a perfect fit for me Hopefully, by God's grace, I made the right choice. I feel like I made the right choice right now. And honestly, I think I did. Because I I already have like great mentors out the bat already. And they're black women, like black women physicians. My mentors, like what? I'm ready. Let's go. Like, let's get started. I'm ready to start school. I'm ready to move. I, I'm actually, I'm definitely not ready to move. I got a lot of things on my checklist. Let me tell you that. I got a lot of things on my checklist, but you know, they're going to get checked. They're going to get checked. I'm going to be stressing. I'm going to be like, oh my God, I got so much to do. But at the end of the day, they're all going to get done. And yeah, so I'll be moving in literally just a short amount of time. <laughs> in a very short amount of time. And I am so thankful. So, like I said earlier in this video, if you stuck it through, if you stuck it through from the jump when I was stressing about my MCAT, thank you, y'all. This is the part of the journey that I am so, so, so happy about. I And if you're new to my channel, like, please take a moment, go back, watch some videos, like, you know, just, just go, just go and see what I was up to, see where I started. Um, yeah, and I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. And if you have any more questions, you can follow me on Instagram. You can send me an email. I will definitely email you back, sis, all right? I'll email you back, don't worry. So if you wanna chat, if you wanna learn, learn a little bit more, or if you're in this process too and you need some words of encouragement or words of advice, I got you, I got you. But thank you guys so much for sticking around and you know being a part of this medical school series. So I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much and bye. Zat zat. <laughs> yeah, that's their that's their um mascot is an anteater. So that's uh gonna be my thing now. Zat zat. Zat zat. <laughs> <laughs>